Okay, so we went from 45 to 75 peers, and the next thing we want to do is get inbound connections. Inbound connections is when other nodes, like yourself, like other stakers, want to connect to your machine in order to um, exchange blocks and uh, other things with you. And we want to enable them to do that. So what happening now, what's happening now is that your firewall on the router is blocking all those connections. Say, no, you're not allowed uh, to the other stakers. You're not allowed to communicate with uh, beyond this firewall. So and we want to tell the, t the firewall that, um, that they can actually communicate with this machine uh, through, the, through the firewall. And what we have to do here is we have to go to the network sec section and go to Beacon Chain. And then you have some ports in there. Uh, yours might be different than mine. But what we want to put in there is 12,000. So this it should stay in here. And 13,000 here. Same number as here. And don't ask for the questions. These are the ports I was named. So I don't know whether these have any connections or whether there's another way of doing it, but this worked for me. So then you say update port mappings. So it has updated the port mappings. Now at this point, you should restart your router because if you are lucky, you don't have to do anything else. The forwarding took uh, care of itself uh, through the UPnP or whatever they call it. But if you're unlucky, you have to uh, do the following steps. Well, uh, go to your router. My router is 192.168.01. Um, maybe yours as well, maybe not. Uh, you have to look on the router itself there are, it says an IP like that, and that's where you have to go. And it says the password as well. So you type in that password and get into the router. And you head for the section port forwarding. And what you want to do here is uh, create a new rule or something like that, it says. And in here, we have to uh, now do the sort of poke a little hole in the firewall for people, uh, for nodes which want to communicate with your node. So this, the local IP, this is your DAP IP, your local one. So it's up here. Um, there you see internal IP. So for me is 138 at the end here. So I take that and put that here. <clears throat> and now for the ports, there you just type in for uh what did we do here beacon chain so for udp it's twelve thousand all along um twelve thousand twelve twelve thousand twelve thousand twelve thousand and here this was the udp enable on and then you say add rule And now you should see this here. And then you go ahead and then you add again a rule, same, but this time it's 13,000 everywhere. And it is TCP, I believe, 13,000 TCP, yes. On, add rule, ah, it says a rule already exists for me. Well, for you it doesn't, so you just go ahead and do add rule. Okay, and then you sh that you should have, uh, you should see two two rules with two th twelve thousand thirteen thousand, and then just restart the router and uh, well in doubt just unplug and replug it in. Okay, after restart, this is what it looks like. That's what we want. So all looking good here, and back in depth node. That's also looking all right. So let's have a look at the packages. Logs, beacon chain, and no inbound peers. That is a bit annoying. So let's wait a little bit longer. All right. After about 20 minutes, um, 
we have the first inbound, so that should be proof that it's working. Um, so this will uh, then level out over the next few hours, I suppose, so that you have probably have more inbounds than outbounds. But that's good. That's where we want to be. Right, back from lunch. And uh, yeah, here, after an hour, we've got this distribution. Anyway, all looks good.